Yo, what's going on everyone? So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how to stretch canvas, uh, mainly because I like to do my own canvases. I don't like to buy canvases anymore. And I'm gonna show you exactly why I don't like to buy canvases anymore. Mainly because when we go down to this Cherry Rama art site, it's like an online one that a lot of people go to. We're gonna go to their canvas section. So like the cotton canvas section and go down to look for one about four by six, which is what I'm sort of building right now. And if you look at that, you know, over 400 bucks but then they have it on sale for like three three something and i mean you know that's way too expensive for a piece you know sometimes you just want to paint and just experiment but that's way too much and then if even if you go find an affordable one if you go to blick and that's another a sort of well-known site it's like you can get one for maybe 127 dollars but you also have to account for shipping and handling all that stuff so it's just super expensive and that is why i do my own sort of canvas building so that skill definitely helps out so to do that you're gonna need a staple gun and canvas stretchers you can get the staple gun at Home Depot or, or a hardware store or even Walmart and then canvas stretchers you can find those at many of the art supply stores so you know just having these supplies on hand will help you sort of build canvases on your own whenever you want to so let's get started so the first thing I did was just lay that tarp down just so I don't get the actual canvas dirty uh, you just want to make sure you have a clean surface because it's so big I just use the floor and after that just laying down that canvas that you have make sure it's uh, face down so that the stretcher bars are laying on the back of it and then cut down that canvas to the size of the stretcher bar you want to make sure you can wrap it all the way around and the main thing that you have to learn is that you have to go opposite sides as you're sort of stretching so lay that first uh, staple down go to that opposite side in almost the same area and put in another staple after you sort of use those stretchers to sort of uh, tighten it as much as you can so you're just going to keep doing that back and forth and then going to the the perpendicular side doing the same thing so you're just going to keep doing that on each side of where you sort of stapled in the middle and you just keep doing that every two or three staple and about two or three inches one to three inches i'd say but it really just depends on how secure you want it some artists do it closer some artists like myself will do it more farther apart but it really just depends on you so you just need to sort of just follow the number scheme like one one two two three three four four five five six six and then so on depending on how large your canvas is and how many staples you have in between basically we're just going perpendicular each time we sort of uh, move around the canvas just so that it gets an even stretch and we just keep doing that until we get to the corners and with the corners it's going to be a really really simple fold really it's just it's trying to staple all the way up until the end and then with that extra piece of canvas that meets at the corner we're just going to fold that to the top or the bottom we don't want that fold to show on the side of the canvas that people can see so we're going to fold it to the top of the bottom of the canvas we're just going to fold it on itself and then on itself again to the back of the canvas and we're just going to staple that down so we do this for every corner that we have just make sure however you sort of orient your painting to show whether that's landscape or that sort of the portrait style really tall you just make sure you fold it on the top or the bottom we don't want it showing on the side and that is something that i always really implore because it just makes it look a lot better and the last thing that I do is just spray water on the back of the canvas, mainly because it's a cotton canvas. So when you hit it with water, the water dries, it actually shrinks the canvas and makes it more taut or just tighter. So that just makes it really, really great to sort of paint on because you get that bounce. And you can do this with a pesticide sprayer like me, a little squirt bottle, or you can just use a wet rag and just sort of use that rag and run it all over the back of the canvas. But you know, this is the way I just do it because I just do these really large paintings. So it's like easy for me to just throw water in this sort of pesticide sprayer and just you know go slowly over the entire thing and then usually it just takes me about a minute to two minutes to actually do this process right here so after water is on the back it's just time to hang it and let it dry because i have my own hanging system i'm putting it back up and i'm just going to hang it on the wall to let it dry usually it takes about you know two hours to fully dry you know i just leave it overnight just you know just to get a fresh start the next day but this is basically it and this is why i like doing my own canvases because i can make them any size i want to 
and not only that it just saves money in the long run because the actual supplies are not that costly and you're able to do it yourself so you're able to save money and use that on things like paint to actually paint the canvas so hopefully you like this video if you do like subscribe hit that bell notification so that you're notified whenever i do videos like this and i will see you next time peace